I'm off to test drive a new car. Is there a better way to start the day? No. There probably is, but this is pretty good. So I'm going to be test driving today one of the most exciting cars I think that's come out in a long time. And I'm not exaggerating. I When I first saw that there were some leaked photos of this car online and when they were released, well, when I saw them, I was like, oh my God, that is so cool. I loved it and I thought, I really want one. I don't know about you, but one of my pastimes is definitely um, car hunting. So I'm always on classifieds. I'm always looking at car deals and stuff. I ultimately don't buy very much, obviously, but I'm always looking, I'm always curious as to what's out there, prices of cars, and uh, this car's coming up to three years next year. Um, do I want to sell it? Do I want to change it? I don't know, but I constantly sort of just would like to try something else and live with something else and see what it's like. The thing is, when you drive a car like this one, which is like the perfect, surely the perfect family car, it's five doors, it seats five people, it's got decent enough boot space, it looks good, it's really fast, it handles amazingly, you can take it to a track day, it's basically an absolute all-rounder. In fact, before I bought this car, I had two, two other cars, I had a Golf GTI and a Toyota GT86, and they were both quite different, and this car sort of combined the two. So the GT86 was really, you know, it was a very playful car, very underpowered, but hugely entertaining. And the Golf was just like your practical five-seater, quick car, didn't really go wrong, so... But this is the, the combination of those two cars. This is that fun car with plenty of power and sort of does the job of those two. So it's, I was sort of thinking, and I'm always constantly thinking, I'm like, so where do you go from here? Is it just wait for the next RS, that's it? Or, you know, there's no point in sort of going sideways and going, well, I'd like to try a Megane RS or maybe the new Honda Civic, or I tried that, was a disaster. But, you know, where, where do you go from there? This sort of thing, you sort of look forward. And then I start looking at other cars like BMWs, it's very sunny, BMWs and Audis, and I'm not a huge fan of those sorts of cars. So I end up going, well, they're completely overpriced. When you start to spec them up, they become really, really expensive. So they're a bit unrealistic. You're looking at a completely different price level for, for what gain. There is very little gain. And, and I think that's why ultimately a lot of people end up modifying their, their cars, like these. You know, more power, upgraded suspension, whatever it is. They, they, they modify their cars to give them that next buzz, perhaps. Um, and, and I can see that and I can understand that. But I mean, I've kept mine quite standard, generally. But well, I have actually, I haven't really changed anything apart from the engine, which I changed completely. But apart from that, the car's pretty stuck. And, um, but where do you go from here? That's the thing, it's like, if I was to go for a BMW 3 Series, and I got that's really bright sun this morning. Uh, where do you go? BMW 3 Series or some of that, it's like, you know, an M3. But you're looking at like twice, more than twice the price of this. Once you add in options, it's just ridiculous. And then I start looking at things like Maseratis and it's like, whoa, what am I doing? It's like, this is crazy. But every now and then, and it's quite rare, and in fact, it happened with this car. When this car first sort of came out, and well, it was like, they were just doing these teaser videos with Ken Block, and, and I was just like, whoa, okay, I need that. I need this oversteering family car. You know, that's very rare. And I was like, that looks like huge fun, and it has been, and I love this car, I love it to bits. But I'm always thinking of what to try next, you know, and I've, I've, I've bought some second-hand cars and they're always a bit of a disaster, but when a new car comes out, I get, I have no, I think the Paris Motor Show, half of the event was, I think, empty, I think they just didn't have enough cars in there. I think a lot of manufacturers are sort of boycotting these car shows and stuff, but actually really the big problem is, is that most cars are ultimately quite dull and boring, so, and if you look at the new 3 Series, well, it's just an evolution of the one that came before it, which was an evolution of the one that came before that. There's never really anything exciting to go, ah, oh, okay, I really desperately want one of those three series. I just don't see it. But then all of a sudden, something else comes out and you go, whoa, okay, now that, now that is cool. And that's what's happened recently. 
Now, I've been to a local dealer here asking about the car that I'm going to drive and um, they, I just thought they weren't going to get one in for ages and stuff. But anyway, he, I, I left him my phone number. He called me yesterday and he said, Justin, I've got two in. Come and have a look. And I was like, oh my God, I've been so excited about going to see this car. <laughs> you would not believe it. And it's not the type of car you would think I would buy going off my previous car history. Uh, but actually, I went for lunch with a friend recently and we sat down and we were talking cars and he went, oh, have you seen the new... And I was like, I know, isn't it really cool? So anyway, and the reception it's had online so far has been phenomenal. Um, anyway, my kids think I'm a bit mad, again, looking at another car, completely unnecessary. Uh, but then I have got the Alpha off the road, still hasn't passed its, its technical inspections, so it can, go, can be roadworthy. Um, so I'm sort of down to this one at the moment. I've realised I just don't have a lot of time with second-hand cars, I'm really, really tight for time. So anyway, so I'm going to go and try this car out, see what I think and then decide what happens next, you know, because can anything replace the RS? Or does it need to be replaced? That's the big question. I've just realised that might have possibly been the most waffliest video I've ever recorded. <laughs> I do apologise. I was just trying to get a bit of a point across. I'm not sure I got it across. But anyway, I'm posting the video anyway. Oh, I'm nearly there. It's so exciting. Let me see if I can see in the shop window. I'm just worried that somebody might recognise where I am and then give the game away. Can't see it. 